Is this thing on? Yo, good morning, YouTube. I have a good video for you guys today. It's another reviewing my own gameplay. I know the last one was me ending in a draw. So after all that bullshit, that's all that happened. But I think you guys will enjoy this one. So if you guys do enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it with everybody you know. No big deal, you know. No big deal. So this video, Route 66, defense, you know, not a bad place to start. I saw we got a Rhine and we got a Pig. So Ana's the choice here. I like playing Ana on, these, on this map, defense, on defense especially, because there is a lot of angles you can take. There is a Widow chance you get sniped in the beginning if you're playing too close up. But if you have a Bunker Cop or if you have double shield or at least one shield... Anna's a good pick. We have a Mercy, so we have just singular healing. But the Mercy can focus the high ground and move around. And I can focus on the tanks. Also, Roadhog can heal himself, so I don't have to put out too much healing. I can be a little bit more offensive, which is the way I like to play Ana. Personally, I like to play Ana very aggressively, so I like to use my nades aggressively. I don't... I'm not big on... Is this sounds stupid as a healer, but I'm not big on healing all the time with Ana. To me, it's about sleeping, using your sleep darts, using your, you know, your kit to kind of gain a... I'm going to be playing your back right, Ryan. Okay. okay. I'm telling my line, Ryan, what I'm going to be playing. So... No worries, no worries. I'm telling him where I'm playing. If you want to push this is, a, this is kind of important, but it's not necessary. But I'm telling him, Ryan, where, right, where I'm playing. If they are in voice, it's good to let your, let your main tank know where you're playing. Because he knows that he can't overextend. And if he is, then he can't blame it on me because I'm literally telling him where I'm at. Because if not, he's going to expect me to be there. So right here, I'm reloading because he's putting his shield up. I'm trying to get him to stand his shield. I'm healing the McCree. So far, nothing bad here on my end. I'm making, I'm missing. I'm not making, I'm hitting all my shots. I'm getting really close because I need to be able to get most value out of my nade. I'm kind of scared here because, you know, my Ryan's going to be just charging. I know that I'm a couple seconds from my nade, but I'm waiting. But luckily, my Junkrat and my McCree are getting kills. So here. There's still Hanzo. Here, the Hanzo, this was a mistake on my end, but luckily I wasn't punished. I see the Hanzo right there, right? Hitting shots. Here, I have no cover. Realistically, I probably should have been playing over here. Once we won this fight right here, I could have switched underneath here, and they would not have been able to kill me. But instead, I stayed on this angle because, obviously, I don't know why. <laughs> There's not even a real reason I did it, so it was just a mistake on my part. Luckily, we were able to confirm some kills. I used my nade to heal everybody back up because I know that I'm going to get my nade before they come back on the next fight. Also, happy National Coffee Day. This was a mistake on my end too because I got... This is a dumb, careless mistake. I called out that I hear a Roadhog, right? I heard him like walking around. I thought it was underneath, but it turns out he was in the tunnel. But I kept hearing him back and forth. The stupidest thing I could do is do this. Because if he was right here, what can I do? If I get the sleep off, perfect. But they can't really cap. I mean, they could try to move in and capitalize. But for the most part, I would have just been killed. And that's it. They, they swing the fight. There was nothing I could have done there. I should have just called it and waited. If I waited on top high ground, I would have had... He would have to peek me first. And that's what you want to do. With Roadhog, you don't want to peek Roadhog. You want them to peek you. Because by the time they move around the corner or move into your line of sight, you can shoot your sleep kind of preemptively as they're moving in because they're, they're usually the roadhogs especially at this rank or you know lower ranks they're not going to throw their hook out immediately when turning a corner because that's a waste of a hook unless they know you're there no, no, no. so this was a dumb mistake on my part i'm calling out where he's going because i heard him going through the tunnel again right here i should not be here but i'm waiting for my tanks this is what i should be doing waiting for my tanks in case one of them gets hooked yeah. i know he's there yeah, boom he's i sleep sleeping, him he's sleeping. I know he's charging him, no. and I got killed there because... That was my fault. That was my fault. I'm, and I'm saying it's my fault because it is. A lot of people will blame their tank for charging in. That was 100% the right move. The pig was sleeping. There's no other capitalization. Either our Roadhog hooks him in, which would have been the better move, but he didn't. So our Reinhardt charged right here, right? Our Roadhog should have hooked him in, maybe dropped him down this way, or dropped him here. Then I could have anteed him. We could have all punished him. But no, instead, Roadhog, Reinhardt goes in. So I need to make sure Reinhardt stays alive, but... I picked the Hanzo. Right here, 
I could have either nanoed him instead and kind of because I could build nano pretty quickly. But right here, the minute I saw him charge in, I should have backed up. Right? I should have backed up. But I pushed I pushed in, no! I died. That was my fault. That was my fault. I can I, and but luckily we have a mercy and she reses me. That's another thing about having a mercy. If I'm a very aggressive Ana, I like having a mercy because on the little mistakes that I make, like this one, she can res and we can still they can't you know, we can still win a fight because of that. So Mercy's always OP. Mercy Ana has always works for me. And then I'm not reloading yet because again, oh, right here I reloaded. That was my mistake. I should not have been reloading. I, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. <laughs> and I'm telling my team that they can't take the high ground because we don't have any players that can really shoot high ground like spam damage. So if they shield up and bunker up high ground, they're going to have free reign on us. The only thing we have for shield break is McCree and Hog. And it's, it's a decent shield break, but it's not going to be the best. Um, so I'm telling our team, we need to take this high ground away from them. Luckily, our Roadhog is getting picks there, so I don't have to worry about it. But I'm keeping high ground. Sorry, I sleep up here. Sorry, sleep up here. I slept them. I don't think I can punish them. But then they woke them up. But they're like, they don't think you can punish, and that's fine. Don't be upset if they can't punish. Right, just right, sleeping right. sometimes just also makes people back up. That's the thing. I, when you sleep someone, they're so afraid of getting killed that the minute they wake up, they try to run away a lot of the times. And that's good because it kind of disengages the fight and allows us to kind of regroup. It allowed my Ryan to get high ground again. Okay. I nanoed him here to try to get space. Yeah, okay, I want them to engage, right? I sleep the Rhine. I big anti. And that was a good anti on my head because I stayed away from the LOS of the Hanzo, right? Because right here, I, I, I jumped, which I should have jumped. I could have just dropped. But the minute I saw the shield break, right? I'm right here shooting. I, I saw the shield, boom. I knew it was going to break. I shot immediately. Not giving him a chance to bubble or anything. He's sleeping. The Hanzo's right here, right? So I got to back up this way, which I do. See, I'm like, oh shit, I back up this way. Because I can't, if I go around this way, he can I get a sneaky shot on me. Now Hanzo's dead, so I can peek a little more. Once a sniper goes down, as Ana, unless they have double sniper or like Ash or something like that, where you can really punish you in one shot, you can get aggressive. But before then, you should not be aggressive at all. I killed Zen, but Arma Kree died. This was not a mistake on my end because he right clicked them. I mean, there's not really anything I could do there. There's no, there's no amount of, there's no amount of healing I could put out. People don't realize this. You cannot out heal damage. Not the best healer in this game can out heal damage. Just, you just can't. So if someone's just taking fucking damage and you're just healing them nonstop, the damage is gonna win. That's just, that's just the way the game goes. The healing is to kind of get them to a point where they don't die. You know, get them in a position where they can recharge their shield, get out of LOS so they don't have to get freaking killed and me melted immediately. You're healing them just to keep them alive in that moment, but they should not just depend on constant healing from you in every situation because I, I need to reload. Moira needs to recharge her, her fucking spray or whatever the fuck she does, her graffiti bullshit. Um, Mercy is the only one that can out pump out constant healing. Lucio, but Lucio needs to amp. Brig needs her shields. Like, there's cooldowns on everything. So there's nothing I can do to constantly heal, except for maybe Mercy. And even then, it's not, it's not enough healing to outheal the damage, right? So right there, I was just, I made a choice. If I would have healed the McCree, if I would have healed, I healed the McCree right here, right? Okay. So I healed him. So I got him to like half health. But right there, I killed, I just chose to kill the Zenyatta. There's just no other reason. I just said to kill him. She oh, so rezzed them. We're all fine. You, but I, I still apologize you. because... Then they could get mad at me saying, oh, you know, yeah, why'd you let me die? Yeah, you were going DPS on a... Even though there was nothing I could have done there, but I still apologize because I let them know that, you know what, I'm sorry. Right here, I'm telling... I'm asking for what ults they used because but sometimes you miss an ult or two and you want to know what to expect. If they have Grav, I cannot group up because they have a Hanzo and they have Grav. That wins the fight right there. Grav Drag. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, what do they have? Did you shatter? Oh yeah, they did shoot shatter. They you shatter, so I'm like, okay, I don't have to worry about the Rhine too much. I just have to watch the Zarya. I add to you their Rhine to help our Rhine win the fight. Then they, I destroy Lamp. Now they have no defensive ults, right? Got you, I got you. Reloading, reloading, reloading. I'm letting them know when I'm reloading. You gotta let them know when you're reloading. I tried right there. Right there was not the smartest decision on my part. I didn't. The the sleep was fine, but I should have I should have woke him up, right? I slept him. 
But I decided to. I, I was going to go for a I'm sneaky sorry, ante, sorry, but they woke him up. And then our Ryan died because of it. And then I, I said I shouldn't have gone for that McCree because the mercy was on him. I didn't have to turn around and heal him. I could have stayed healing my tank. Rookie mistake. Uh, I should not have gone for that McCree. That's not my job. And see, I'm saying right there, it's not my job because it wasn't my job because there was a mercy on him. And right here, we could die on the cart if it was last fight. Like, if it was right here, I would close to the end, I would have just died on cart. But I think I might be able to stall long enough to get one more fight. So I'm telling my team to just wait up. I'm still keeping my Hanzo, I mean my uh, Junkrat LOS. But then I have to back out. Because it's no good for both of us today. I see our, our wind's coming back. They grab right there, right? But nothing happens. There's, they're not getting any value on that grab. Because they grabbed them at spawn. Would have been a decent grab if they were already right here. Because it stops our right from engaging and our Roadhog. But there's, they didn't do anything with it. They didn't punish them. So now it's a wasted grab. I sleep the Ryan. I anti him immediately. And now they waste bubble, right? I need to destroy lamp. I, I, I ran our Ryan because before destroying lamp, because um, it kind of switches them from focusing on the lamp to focusing on my Ryan 100%. Then I reposition myself up here because I know right here I could destroy the lamp, right? But I'm thinking, our Roadhog's coming up here. We already got two picks. Let's fucking destroy this fight. 11 seconds left. Let's win this. I nano our Ryan. They have to focus everything on Ryan. I destroyed the lamp. The lamp's gone. I think it's gone, right? Yeah, I destroyed it. Now, I'm taking this position on high ground because they cannot focus me. They cannot focus me. There's nothing they can do to focus me. I don't worry about the Zen because I know my team's going to kill him. I tell them not to die to the dragon, and they still stand here and almost die to the dragon. Oh, my God. You almost... And so I'm telling him, like, you almost died to a dragon. I literally called to not die to, but it's okay. You almost died to that dragon. It's, it's, you know, it's at the end of the fight. So just, I'm just messing with them, right? So right here, if you take a quick look at my stats, right? I'm not, I'm not pumping out that much healing. I'm not doing, like, terrible. I'm, I got six kills in about, I don't know, what is this, like, four minutes? Uh, one death. Pretty decent scoped accuracy. Five enemies slept. About one enemy slept a minute is a pretty good goal. That means you're using... I mean, I miss, I make, I'm hitting about maybe 50% of my sleeps. I use, I, use, I use sleep on cooldown unless I know they're coming in for a big fight. Why? Because just sleeping someone wins a... Like, it can win you a fight, right? You can sleep someone and it discourages the team. Or they have to focus their resources. For example, I slept at Ryan and immediately Bap had to throw out his, his fucking lamp or the, and then... and our Zarya, their Zarya used bubble. So now, there's nothing they can do. They, they use two defensive things already. So our, my Ryan has free reign to just beat the shit out of that Ryan because they can't do anything about it. They have nothing else to defend him. Just because of one sleep. Just one sleep did that. You almost died to that dragon. About a thousand healing per minute. The healing per minute, I, only, I feel it only matters if... Your team is dying a lot. But we weren't really dying. If anything, I think I'm the one person who died a lot. Like, it was just me. I don't think anyone else really died here. Um, the McCree once, uh, Ryan once. And then our Roadhog, I think, once too. But we all died one time. So there's not really much healing for me to have done. Our, our Mercy was doing a lot of the, a lot of the topping off healing because I was mostly focused on keeping Ryan alive. Why? Because he's my shield. He's the biggest target. Uh, I'm not going to miss, like, right? Man. And I'm calling out that they're going Torb. So right here, we're on offense. We're running the traditional comp. This is old school comp. A Roadhog, which is good for getting picks. Roadhog is really good for getting picks. That's basically Roadhog's job. You can flank. You can, you, you're, you're tanky. So they're focused on you a lot. It helps Ryan not take so much damage. But basically, his biggest job is just to take, get picks. If a Roadhog is not hitting hooks and not killing the squishies, Tracer, Genji's, um, you know, the DPS and the healers, like, that, that, if, if he's not doing that, he's kind of useless, and he's just kind of feeding them, but that's pretty much his job. Reinhardt just keep us behind the shield. Reinhardt allows me and McCree to play effectively as well as Mercy, not get killed by snipers, right? Especially in maps like this, King's Row, if you don't have a shield, playing Ana is stupid, because you're gonna be having to play off angles all the time, and it, it just makes your life harder than if you were playing moira or someone else who can move around faster you know we're running mccree here not a, 
right amount of damage. He can stay behind the shield. He can flank. Perfect pick. The Pharah's perfect because it gives our Mercy a, a way out. And I'm telling him that running Torb or May because typically what I see in these ranks a lot of times, or in any rank actually, you always see when a team gets like beat and like pretty bad, like the way they we beat them, like they only pushed it 79 meters. They run an extremely, extremely annoying comp. May, they go um, Bastion, they go Torbjorn. A lot of like side damage, a lot of things that people and they can't really deal with, or you have to put a lot of effort in focusing. So I'm letting my team know ahead of time. If they're going these characters, I'm going to switch off. Torbjorn is not a big deal, but if they're going May, I, they're, they're, she can wall off, right? The problem is May can wall off a lot of the damage, a lot of the healing I can do. So they're running Junkrat. And I'm telling them to flank. So I'm telling my Farrah to go backline. Basically, they have a Junkrat. So I know that they're at least not double hit scan, meaning... Our fair should not have the hardest time with the Mercy Pocket. She should be going this way to make them turn around and allow us to push the car forward and then we get them from two angles. You get what I'm saying? Um, if our Ferris stays with us like this, our Ferris right, right up here and our tanks are down here, they can focus the Farah and without having to worry about this damage. You get what I'm saying? So by Farah going around, especially with the Mercy Pocket, she's able to take some damage and to position herself and get herself maybe on that bridge over here and, and hide there and just do poke damage and have them turn around constantly. And maybe I can get a sneaky sleep, a big ante, and then we can all collapse on them at one time. It also forces the high ground on top of the market to have to turn around as well and not focus over here. And I'm telling her to wait up until we get the cart to at least the, the corner. Oh, I can't, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. And I should have. I don't know why my Mercy left our, our Farah there. That was Mercy's fault because she didn't have anything else to heal, really. Um, right here, like nothing else is really taking damage. I'm healing the McCree. Uh, she's powering up the Farah. And then I don't know where she goes. She goes to heal our Rhine right here. She, like, if you see her, you see her beam kind of leave right here. It goes to our Rhine, but our Rhine is full damage, full, full health. So I don't know why she leaves our Farah. See, like, right here, she's weak. She's still powering them up, powering them up. And then she leaves. So I'm like, oh, I crap. I, I have to focus. I, I could have done a quick scope and try to save him better, but uh, I messed up there. But, wait, you know, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to wait for a Pharah because we don't have full damage here. Wait out of wait out of I, can't get you out of there. I didn't go for anything risky there because there's no way I could get him out. Pick, That's a big, huge pick right there. I'm telling him. I know they have nothing to damage up to, so I'm playing kind of risky here because I have not, they have nothing to really kill me except for Junkrat bombs. I missed this sleep, and that cost us that fight. That was my fault. I got really close because I was going to try to do an anti, but the Ryan was just able... I was low, and the Ryan was able to just swing on me. Okay? Our fair is getting killed really easily by a Ryan, and so I'm kind of... This is one of those times where, like, I'm not saying, like, this is the DPS fault, but why? I don't understand how she's dying to a Ryan. But at the same time, she our mercy keeps leaving her, so I get it. She a mercy needs to stay on her. And a lot of times, like right here, the mercy's healing my pig. Go 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 I'm trying to Ryan to go in because I want to get forced. I want them to force around. I'm still trying to get our. No shot, dude. And I I for, this is what I forgot. I forgot that diva landing on her mech kills you. I was gonna go try to nade her here. But I, I forgot that her landing on her bomb kills you. This is a good res on her end because we get full fight. Right? Our Rai should not be chasing this, but it's fine. Because it's already the ass thing. Um, our Farah, I don't understand why Mercy keeps leaving our Farah, But it's okay. It's not the worst thing. Like, we're, we're still winning these fights. And then they call out for healing, right? You got to listen to when your team calls out for healing. But sometimes they call out for healing and it throws me off because I'm thinking, what? Like, you're not low. <laughs> but so I was letting them know right now, like, don't call for healing if you're not low. And I'm like, okay. I get away. We all spam out with the junk rat tire so it minimizes damage. It's fine. Our Ryan dies, which is probably the best target they can hit. I try to go for a preemptive slide because I thought he was going to shatter right there. Right here, I'm just doing a little bit of side damage. There's not really anything else I can do here. I'm reloading because there's nothing else I'm really doing here. I'm calling D by the mech because that's the most important thing. Now they're down a tank. They have BAP window. 
So I'm trying to like, there, there's, all right, I had to see the Rhine. I killed a D.Va there or weaken her. Right here, I tried to go for a sleep because I thought he was going to back up. They nanoed him. They him. I chewed at his feet a little bit right here. So right here, this whole sequence, I did pretty good. I was in a position where they can't kill me. I was helping a Roadhog while killing the D.Va. I hit her here, got her low. I, the, the Rhine was anti, so he couldn't punish me. Our McCree's being pocketed, so I'm not worried about our McCree at all. My job is not to worry about the McCree. Unless like he's right in front of me. Obviously heal him. But if if it takes me way out of the line of both of my tanks, I'm not going to worry about the McCree at all. So right here, I tried to go for a sleep because I thought he was going to move back forward or charge or something, but it didn't work. So I missed my sleep. Right here, I see him being, so I'm shooting his feet, but then he gets yeah. an anode, so I back up a little bit, right? He misses a sleep. I mean, he misses a shatter. I'm getting kind of close because I'm waiting for him to kind of poke me out. I'm waiting for him to kind of poke out because... His hammers, I'm still full health, so one swing of a hammer is not going to kill me. And he has to turn around the corner. So I can play kind of close here so to, to try to get that lucky anti, which I did. If there's a, I'm going around the car. I'm going slowly. There's nothing I can really be doing here. And that was the win of the fight. So again, at the end of the game, stats, not that impressive. But again, as Anna, the stats, nine kills. The game's about nine minutes. You can't really see it here, but it's about seven minutes, actually, I think. I, don't, I can't really see the fucking time of the game. Uh, scope accuracy could be a little better. Unscoped accuracy is okay. Five enemies slept. Not really a big thing, but, you know, I, I didn't really have to sleep too much there. I died three times, which is more than I should be dying. I try to keep a four-to-one eliminations to death ratio. This is a three-to-one, so it's not bad. Um, damage is not really my job. Healing, I, I did over a thousand healing per minute about, so it's not a big deal. Well, again, my team wasn't taking that much damage. The Mercy did a lot of the side healing, which is perfect. Overall, good game. And right there, what I learned, what I need to do better, again, balance the fact of being so aggressive with healing my team and not worrying about trying to get sneaky stuff. Like, I worry too much there about trying to get, you know, big antis, big sleeps, and I'm positioning myself in a really bad way. I'm also doing a lot of risky stuff, which is what I... It, I can do it because I don't get punished a lot of the time, but those are things that as you go higher or as you're trying to get better, those are the little things you can work at because aim was pretty fine this game. I mean, I hit 7 out of 10 shots. Not a big deal. Um, could be better, yes, but it's not... If I was hitting like 50% shots, then that's the difference between a couple of my teams dying. But 60 to 70%, I feel is good with Anna. Um, everything else was just okay. Damage, count. I mean, I could die one or two times less, but those two deaths that I had were, two of them were just dumb deaths. I, I could have prevented, you know? But overall, I feel like it was a good game. What did y'all see? Did y'all see me do anything stupid? Would y'all have done something differently? Let me know in the comments. If not, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.